the most forgotten collaborations in Fortnite. In Chapter 2, Season 5, when Mandalorian came to Fortnite, we actually got a limited time game mode, which I do think people forgot about this, where you could unlock this umbrella right here by getting a victory in the LTM. I don't know how many people actually got this umbrella, but it's definitely cool if you have it. And do you remember playing the LTM? There was also a similar game mode for John Wick, where you could unlock this umbrella right here. People did forget about that, but more importantly, the John Wick skins have been forgotten about. In fact, the skins haven't been in the item shop for over 800 days and they are considered rare now. Plus the female one, Sophia, a lot of people don't even know this skin exists and it was in the item shop for less times than John Wick himself. Also, huge respect to Fortnite for including the Reaper skin in the John Wick trailer because we all know this skin was inspired by John Wick. Let's not forget about the two emotes from this collaboration, Bulletproof and BC and you, which are really rare now as well. Who knows if they'll ever return, but will the Psycho Bandit ever make a return? The skin was last seen in the item shop over 1,100 days ago now and this collaboration happened in season x if you guys remember there was other rewards you could unlock like sprays and wraps but more importantly there was actually a poi added for this collaboration it was actually very impressive but nobody ever speaks about this collaboration anymore in fact if you started playing fortnite after chapter one season x you probably didn't even know this happened and also you can actually still get this skin but you have to find a code for it they're super expensive and hard to find who knows maybe fortnite will bring it back to the item shop for everyone to buy one day also, does anyone else miss Fortnite doing map changes for collabs? You probably haven't forgot about the Ferrari collaboration, but it's actually been quite a while. In fact, the Ferrari skins, Medina Icon, and Marinello Racer haven't been in the shop for over 640 days. So it's coming up to two years since this collaboration happened, and they was only in the item shop for a total of 10 days. So if you remember buying any of the Ferrari skins, you might want to check your locker as you kind of have a rare skin right now. Who knows when they're going to return? maybe when Fortnite bring Ferraris back or different kind of car collaboration. Then we have the League of Legends collaboration. This collab is currently trending on a Fortnite community page because the skins and cosmetics haven't been in the shop for over 500 days now. I honestly remember seeing them in the shop and it definitely doesn't feel like it's been that long. But yeah, over 500 days since Arcane Jinx has been in the shop and of course Arcane VI as well. This collaboration did feature a couple of emos, batblings, pickaxes and everything so you might want to check your locker to see if you actually got some of it. And one last thing, Arcane VI was in the shop less than Arcane Jinx, so she's actually more of a rare skin. But not quite as rare as Eddie Brock, one of the only Marvel skins other than the Black Widow which hasn't made a return. It's currently been over 550 days since Eddie was last in the shop, which was in December 2021. It's still unknown why his set hasn't returned. Some people say it's because they're waiting on a new movie to be released, but I don't actually think anyone knows the real answer. So if you're a Marvel fan, you might have bought this skin, or you could be waiting on a return, but that might be a while. And it's a pretty good skin. I do have it on my favorites, and I do actually use it sometimes, especially with the built-in emo. But there's one collaboration that still kind of confused me, and that's the Janky skin. This was currently last seen over 560 days ago, and I don't think it's ever going to make a return. When Janky made an announcement about this skin releasing, he did say it was only going to be in the shop for four days but then i think fortnite accidentally brought it back for one day in december so it's only been in the item shop five times and yeah i really don't think it's ever going to make a return this is definitely considered a rare skin now it was 1500 v bucks and i think hardly anybody bought this i mean i never see it there is also the pickaxes in the set which again haven't been out for over 500 days and they're called the janky's dead fish and finally the battling janky stunt helmet which kind of reminds me of the helmet from the aerial assault trooper but this whole collaboration was kind of random and no one really speaks about it just like the fortnite x free guy crossover i'm sure a lot of you guys have the good guy emote from chapter 2 season 7 and i'm probably sure you kind of remember this collaboration happening but did you actually know fortnite brought out a skin of ryan reynolds from the free guy movie the skin is obviously called dude and it was only in the item shop for a total of five times even though it's epic rarity it was 1200 v books it's just one of those skins no one really bought it like when do you ever see this in battle royale i think i know maybe two people maximum that actually have it i did miss out on this one myself and if it does make a return in the future i will be buying it i think it's actually a good skin but this whole collaboration no one speaks about anymore and it's definitely forgotten and deserves to be on this list then we have the gi joe 
Ichijo crossover with the Snake Eye skin. This kind of became a bit of a meme when the skin released because it stayed in the item shop for 50 days in a row. I'm pretty sure that holds the record in Fortnite for a cosmetic staying in the shop for that long. But what you might not know is that it was in the shop 700 days ago. Like how is this skin actually becoming almost a 1000 day skin? I just don't think any of us expected that to happen. It was 1800 V-Bucks in the item shop and it does actually come with a very cool pickaxe as well right here. And what's interesting about this collaboration is that they did make an action figure to go along with it as well. Maybe that's why it stayed in the shop for so long, but let me know if you managed to buy Snake Eyes or are you waiting for him to return? But then we have a crossover which was only in the shop for 11 days and that's the Kelsia skin. It released in chapter 2 season 6 and it's not been back for over 610 days now. I feel like with this crossover, not a lot of people really knew what it was all about or why it came to Fortnite. And for that reason, I don't think too many people bought it. I definitely have never seen this one, that's for sure. But in the set, they do have some really cool pickaxes called the Volcanic Glass Daggers. And these are actually super clean. So if the bundle returned, I'll definitely buy it to get these. So it was a really random crossover, but do you know anyone that actually has it? But there was a crossover skin, which was in the shop less times than Kelsia and Snake Eyes. And that is actually the Mike Lowry. I mean, you guys might call it the Will Smith skin, but this was now last seen 650 days ago from chapter two, season seven, but it was only in the item shop for a total of 10 days. So there wasn't a huge amount of time to get it. A lot of people think Fortnite have banned this skin from releasing due to what happened with the Chris Rock events, but who knows the real reason why it's not returned. Either way, I think this skin is very iconic within Fortnite because the rambunctious and fresh emotes are both from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and obviously Will Smith starred in that show. So I think it's just a classic skin, even though it's really rare now and not many people have it. Hopefully it does make a return for the people that want it. And in the set, there is also some pickaxes called the Loose Cannon Cutters. Again, these were last seen 650 days ago and it was only in the shop 10 times. They're not my favorite pickaxes, but the skin is great. I've spoke about the Kratos collaboration in previous videos. People haven't forgot about this one. Everyone's just waiting for it to return because it has been over 840 days ago since Kratos was last in the item shop. But it's actually been 400 days ago since the Master Chief collaboration was in the item shop. I know people haven't forgot about the collab because it's super popular, but I think people don't realize that it's not been in the shop for over a year, which is just crazy to me. It does not feel like it's been that long. In total, the Master Chief skin was in the item shop 75 times, so make sure you subscribe if you do actually have it. Also, the Tron skins just returned to the shop after 750 days. Definitely people forgot about these. And if you want to support me out in the item shop, shop, make sure to use code ASHY, A-S-H-Y. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.